Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw, and we're at Volcano Coffee Works on Ferndale Road in Brixton, and we're here with the lovely Ben Sibley, aka the Vicar of Sibley. I make people coffee, sell people coffee beans, tell them the story of Volcano. And you're about to watch me become Jesse, the body star. Oh no! Oh my god, that is hot! Oh. Yay! And we are introducing our brand new Top Jaw Top Pour Coffee in collaboration with Volcano Coffee Works. Medium roast made of beans from Peru, El Salvador, and Brazil. Delicious. Ben is going to teach me how to do something on his whizzy, super duper Mr. Fantastic over there. <laughs> and then I'm going to try and recreate that on my little machine here from home. Okay, Ben, on your Izzy Wizzy Wanga Woo, what are you going to make? A coffee. Four main elements to this wonderful process, right? Correct. Grinding the coffee, extraction, heating the milk, pouring the milk. Lesson number one. Let's kick it off with the grind. <laughs> this is called a porter filter. Yep. Weighing the coffee. On the scales, make yep. sure it's zeroed. In we go. And so this machine is pre-programmed to be exactly what you want. Yeah. So what does too much coffee do then? It's going to give too much resistance and the water's going to pass through it too slowly, so it might start to burn. And uh, what happens if you put too little amount of coffee in? You're going to get a weak flavour, possibly a sour flavour, and hardly anybody. It's not going to be an enjoyable cup of coffee. Grind is done. Desired amount of weight, bang on. Coarseness is absolutely... For espresso, you want it to look a bit like sand. It looks so good when it goes... <laughs> at the same time, and it comes out both evenly. How do we do that? Tamping. Yep is flattening that coffee into a puck. And that makes everything super even, and then that's what gets you those nice smooth jets. Man, there's a tamp. <laughs> you want to give the basket a little clean, get all the fines off there. Right, porter filter in, locked and loaded. Yeah. We're about to extract. Set this to a double shot. Beautiful. You can hear the crema. Can you hear the crema? Yeah. Right, here we go. Ben, what is the crema? It's just the carbon dioxide on top of the coffee. Let's escape the espresso. Next is to add some milk. Because we're making flat white. Moving on. First thing to do when you're going to steam some milk on a coffee machine, you want to purge the steam wand. <laughs> the amount of milk you want just below the spout. So then you want the tip of the wand just underneath the surface <laughs> of the milk. Okay. Closer to the side of the jug than the center. You want to create a whirlpool. There's your whirlpool, baby. You stop heating the milk when it becomes too hot to touch for any longer than about two seconds. And you're banging it like that to get rid of all the air bubbles. You don't want to be drinking bubbles, you want to be drinking silky milk. Flat white, volcano style. First sip, bro. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. Mm. Now make me one on that. <laughs> no pressure. My little maggot machine, much less pressure than this one. So, what do I need my grind to be? Finer or coarser? Answer, coarser. <laughs> now, this is made with top jaw, top paw. But Ben, tell me a little bit about what's in the bag. So it's a blend of South American coffees. Pretty slap bang in the middle of medium roast. The medium roast is a great all rounder. You can have it black and taste that nuance, or you can have it with milk. Kind of caramel flavours when you add it with milk. Um, it's got a nice like nutty chocolatey undertone as well. Gonna sample our goods. Right, pack it down. Okay, nice and flat. Lock it in. Go on, lad. Yeah, oh, not quite as even. Look at the crema on that. It's not bad for a first attempt. That's good. Do your little swirly business. You happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just put milk in. We've done it by eye. The one's at an angle, just off centre, not too close to the metal jug. Here we go. Oh, there's the whirlpool. I'm doing it. There you go. That's hot, that's hot. You've got asbestos Hang fingers. Oh, that's not the face we want, is it? Oh, well, bang them out. You want the crema at more of an angle, so pour into the centre of that crema. Go on, Jess. Oh, oh, it's oh. really slow and gentle. Oh. I'm genuinely impressed. That was awful. How does it taste? Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit! <laughs> what did I do wrong? Well, should we start with what you did right first? Please. Nice espresso, nice crema on top. Yeah. The key is the milk. There wasn't a nice amount of stretching for the milk. It's not too bad though, Barry. Scratch that. Take two. We thought we'd bring in the heavyweight. 2020 
second best barista in the UK, Claire. Hey Claire. Hey. What can you whip up on this hunk of junk? This is the true test of your metal, all right? Let's get going. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I've also literally never used this before. Okay, it's all good. Yeah, that's that's good. decent, look at that. Crema.com. Extraction.co.uk. Do you reckon? I like it. Right. Um, you might have it on the lowest strength setting, the lowest pressure setting, which might be why it was taking you 15 minutes to steam milk. Oh uh, yeah, three settings. That might be our downfall, lads. <laughs> Yeah, the Whirlpool is legit. Uh, it looks pretty good. Jug is slightly too big for the cup, but... Come on, that's so much better. <laughs> it's capable, isn't it? That's what you can make at home if you are the second best barista in the UK. Okay, this is our last try. And what we've done, we've got a smaller jug. <laughs> so we're making sure that Claire's watching me closely. Does this slightly more that way. I tried not to do that. God, that is hot. <laughs> I had no hands on the handle. Really low, really low, pour fast. And again. Yes! <laughs> this is an onion. I'll tell you what, that's the better one than I've done. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I can expect to get better today. It's good contrast. When Claire's done it, it's like the texture all the way through is so good. Mine's clunky. Big thanks to these two heroes. We've certainly learned a huge amount about coffee today and Thanks to Volcano Coffee Works for collaborating with us on this project. If you want to get your top pour by top jaw, roasted by Volcano Coffee Works, especially by Claire, link in the description below. Let us know your coffee related questions in the comments below. Big thanks for watching. That light went out as I clapped. That was cool. Big thanks for watching. <laughs> Happen again. Why is the light gone again? Claire, what, what do they need to do? Subscribe to Top Jaw. Thank you very much.